the next thing we're going to do is uh, set site colors using the Thesis 2.1 color scheme generator. And this is one of the coolest, hoopiest parts of Thesis 2.1. And for all of those who are asking, is it going to show up in the Agility scan and is it going to show up in my Carta scan? The answer is absolutely. This cool stuff is going to show up in those skins. It doesn't automatically happen, so you know I'm going to have to update my skins to include it. But currently, and so currently it does not. If you install Agility in 2.1, you won't have these options. But that update is coming. In any case, what you have is this thesis color scale. If you click on that, and then click on any color you like, it automatically changes those colors to a monochromatic uh, color system based on the primary color you chose. All right, so if I choose this one, then um, it is going to create this little monochromatic pattern here. All right. So in the first place, you have this pretty cool monochromatic uh, color scale and then in the second place you can come along then and you can choose a complementary color instead so if you click on this little thing this brings up the complementary colors so you're not stuck with a with a um, monochromatic color scale you can have you can start with your primary color and then at scale and intensity the uh, uh, complementary colors so like that for example right now what you've chosen is its primary color and then less intense um, versions of its uh, complementary colors now you could also just choose the complementary color here Okay, let's see. What I wanted to do was... Okay, why not? I, I messed that up a little bit. Let's try that again. So, with that, you know, you can... Well, actually, it's probably easier just to do this and then to pick the complementary color that is easier alright so you have your you can pick complementary colors this way right so you've got a monochromatic color and a complementary color and you know I mean you can just come along like this and and pick a color out of here too Right, and then come up with a different complementary color. So you don't have to use the color scale. The color scale just takes a specific color and then scales it down in intensity. The, um, and then once you've done that, you can choose a complementary color to use in its place, right? So, and you can also switch to grayscale, which will automatically take these things to grayscale, or you can switch to default colors, which will automatically take these to default colors. And that was the default color for that. So this will change those colors. That'll take you to default colors. This will take you to grayscale all the way around. Anyway, lots of opportunity for you to play with those things. And I forgot to show you, when you play with them, that actually changes, you know, the colors of the links, the borders and the highlights, the interior backgrounds, site background color, secondary text, and primary text. So, um, in fact, let's just, let's just pick a different, there we go. So, let's save these design options, and come over and look at what that did to our text. Right now, our this is our primary text. It's a blue color. This is our secondary text. It's the the gray. This is secondary text and also gray. Then we've got our menu. And um, if we come over to say an article uh, and click on the article, I'm just going to show you what happens 
you know, you've got your secondary background color, and that's the same thing exists as in this submit button. So, anyway, these are the kinds of these things automatically change when you change this uh, default color. Okay. So now what we're going to do though is we're going to uh, set up a color that is based on the colors in this. Um, in this logo. And so we aren't actually going to be using the thesis color scale. We're going to be using the colors from the logo directly. And we're going to keep the primary text color as 111. The secondary text color is going to become that dark brown. And then the link color is going to become this lighter brown and then the border and highlights are going to become that kind of bluish green and then finally the interior backgrounds are going to be that really light green okay so this is our new color scheme we'll save the design options Come back over and refresh this. And now you can see we've got, you know, that's going on in the menu. Our borders are a different color. Our secondary text is a different color. Our link text is this uh, lighter color, so on and so forth, right? Uh, that's how this totally hoopy. Um, color scheme generator, thesis color scale thing works, and um, you'll probably waste way too much time playing around with those colors because it's so dang cool.